you have to calculate one way shear stress in the footing and footing is axially loaded so see this is the footing which is axially axially loaded so you have to calculate this stress first so w u and then footing in uh, footing in plan is 2.4 and 2.4 so first of all you have to calculate w u is equal to p by a so p is already given in the question and that is p is already given and that is 360 kilo newton 360 kilo newton divided by area 2.4 into 2.4 so after calculation you will get 62.5 kilo newton per meter square then then after you have to calculate one way shear stress as we know that critical section for one way shear is at a distance d from the face of column so this is the effective depth and effective depth is already given in the question that is 250 mm this depth is 250 mm now you have to calculate shear force over this cross section it means in one way shear this entire portion will come up so we will just provide we will just calculate a stress uh, pressure acting on this portion and multiplied by this area that will be shear force and resisting area will be calculated corresponding to this cross section this line multiplied by thickness of the slab so first of all shear force so shear force we can calculate in this way w u multiplied by this area so this area is b b is this dimension and then we are going to calculate this value this value is b minus a by 2 minus d here b minus a b is total dimension minus a is this dimension so b by 2 minus a by 2 minus d so w u into b into b minus a by 2 minus d this is the shear force and now resisting area resisting area is this line length of this line multiplied by this thickness that will resist one way shear so length of this line is simply b and depth is a small d so one way shear stress is equal to shear force divided by resisting area so this will give you final value equal to 0 0.2 newton per mm square 